the best analogy I can give you is that it's just like Lego for the F-18. Whatever you want to put on the wings, you just click it on there. And uh, whether you want to put rockets, bombs, uh, missiles, uh, whatever, you just go to these stations and uh, clip them in. And these little sway braces will hold them straight and, uh, and they'll hold on to, that, to the position until you jettison them. So uh, on the F-18, we have two stations on each wing. This, there's this one here and the one in, inside that we can put uh, different combinations of stuff on. Uh, we can also put a rack that uh, we call it a ver, and it's, it goes out uh, like this, and we can put two bombs on it. Uh, so doubling our capacity on one station, uh, if you will. There's a couple of ways we can get bombs off of there. We can, we can uh, get rid of them normally, which is when we uh, hit the pickle button and, and drop the bombs, or we can uh, jettison them. Uh, and uh, that, that may be more of an emergency procedure where we'll try and uh, push them off of the airplane. Uh, and uh, these little push rods here, we'll push them down or we'll have uh, a, a shotgun cartridge in here that actually will fire them off as a, as a third uh, backup. When I use the analogy Lego, it's just like Lego putting them on there. The guys that load these airplanes probably won't like that because it's, it's certainly much more complicated than that. But uh, that's the way the pilots think about it. You just put it on like Lego, whatever you want to put on there. Uh, so we can put air missiles as well as bombs in here. Typically, we put bombs or fuel tanks. And the big uh, annoying question that we always get at air shows for pilots when we go, we don't take bombs to air shows. Um, we do, however, take external fuel tanks. And uh, as you've seen in most of your footage, the biggest thing that looks like a huge bomb uh, that we put on the wings most often is external fuel tanks. <clears throat> and when you go to air shows, people walk by. The number one question all the time is, uh, are those bombs, are those bombs? And we just continually all day say no, no, no. Uh, we don't bring bombs to air shows and if they look very big uh, and they sound very hollow, they're probably just external fuel tanks. Would you uh, like to tell the viewers directly by saying you know, yeah. we do not yeah. bring... We don't bring bombs to air shows. <laughs> Uh, we don't bring air-to-air -air missiles to air shows. Uh, we don't even load the gun when we go to air shows. The, uh, the radar-guided missile, the other one, the AIM-7 that I talked about, it can go on this station right here. It'll hold in these little stirrups. And uh, this is where I was checking the, checking the tires and I leaned over here and this is where I squared off on the missile while it was hanging right here. This is the, uh, this is the Vulcan cannon, uh, the, the gun that we have on the, uh, on the aircraft. And as you can see, it looks like an old uh, John Wayne movie uh, Gatlin gun. And all that happens is uh, the barrels rotate here, uh, an old design, but obviously sped up uh, quite a bit. And it, this is mounted behind the radar of the aircraft, and uh, the bullets come out of the barrels here and leave the nose of the aircraft. Uh, if you look at the nose of the jet, you'll see there's three holes there. Uh, the bullets, uh, the ammunition comes out of the center uh, hole and the uh, two holes on either side are for venting uh, gas. So all that happens is the, the bullets, uh, or the ammunition, it's 20 mic mic uh, ammunition, which we mean by that is 20 millimeter. Uh, it's about that long and obviously would fit in these little slots here. It can hold 578 of these bullets, but we fired them uh, at such a rate that we only have six seconds worth of bullets. It's not like a video game at all. So if you see your nephew or something just blasting away all day, tell him, no, it's, it's no good. Uh, the, the belt feeds, uh, feeds the bullets very quickly and then the, the empty casings are actually drop into this drum here. We can't uh, just kick them out of the aircraft because they'll go into the air intakes and, uh, and, and uh, destroy the engines uh, of the jet. So, Of course, we use the gun <clears throat> for air-to-air -air, uh, dogfighting. We also use it air-to-ground and that's what you'll see them uh, employing the, the gun in for uh, CWD or or oh, combat yeah. weapons deliveries. You'll see them doing strafe attacks where they're pointing at the ground. Uh, you might see old footage of World War II where they go after trains and stuff like that. Uh, so they point the, the gun down on the ground and fire the gun down on the ground as well. We used to do air-to-air uh, -air gunnery quite a bit. Uh, and uh, for air-to-air -air gunnery, they won't, there is a syllabus trip for them to do it on course, but uh, we it doesn't always happen. It didn't happen on my course. I don't think it's going to happen on their course. But what we do is, uh, either with an F-18 or a, a contracted airplane, because it's kind of a scary job to do, you tow a banner behind you, and you enter a gentle turn, towing this banner behind you, and then F-18s will come in 
off angle so they're not pointed at you and shoot the banner. Uh, and uh, we have a, an acoustic scoring uh, drone that is towed behind a, an old uh, Sabre jet and it will hear the shock uh, or the supersonic uh, booms of the of the bullets going past the 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 drone and score whether or not you got hits so or or if you just knock the drone off of the back or knock the banner off of the back of the cable then you know you got a direct hit